please. Well, I mean, this is just great. Here I just tell Opal that she has to grin and bear it, and you drag me out the door. Oh, come on. I saved you from that insipid toast. Admit it. You're grateful. Maybe. Okay, come on. Let's go back in. No, no, no. Wait. Oh, I thought so. Are you having a good time? Oh, I'm having the time of my life. No, actually, it was nice being outed. The worst is over now. The worst? Mm hmm The shock glances, the looks of disapproval, of curiosity. And what do you know? The ground didn't swallow us up whole. The heavens didn't explode. The Nessa nearly had a stroke. Well, then the night wasn't a total loss, was it? <laughs> no. You're terrible. Yes, I am. What are you doing for the next eight hours or so? Well, I can't account for all eight of them, but some of that time is going to get taken up by having to re-enter the dining room. Why? What did you have in mind? Why don't you come up to my room and find out? Eight hours, huh? Mm -hmm. Or so. Well, as tempting as that sounds, I really do have to go back into the dining room. Uh. I mean, Palmer asked me for his support this evening, and I promised him. Palmer's not running for office. No, of course not, but speaking of politics, we really need Palmer's support for that foundation appointment, don't we? All right, you win. But let's get this over with and pray that it doesn't drag out all night. <laughs> I'm sure we'll have at least um, six or seven hours left. Oh, six or seven hours. Well, we won't be able to squeeze in a quickie then, huh? <laughs> with a little bit of a bite. <laughs> and I savor every single sip. Oh, take me out and shoot me, why don't you? I mean, my God, she's a one-woman filibuster. You think she's running for something. Yeah, too bad it's not for a train out of town. <laughs> At last we agree. Yeah. I mean, I don't know why she doesn't cut his short just for Palmer's sake. I mean, look at him. He looks like he's ready to jump out of his skin. Exactly. I've been so worried about him lately. But honestly, he's been very, very edgy. <laughs> okay, the number one reason I adore Palmer Cartman is because... He is loaded. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Not just with charm and money, but with caring and consideration. All in all, this man spoils me to death. <laughs> so, he's the only man in the world for me. Please raise your glasses to my dashing darling husband, Palmer Cortland. wife, Vanessa. Oh, 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 oh. My God, what's happened to my son? David, David, do something. Will you help your brother? Your son? 